Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hello, how's everything there? How are you doing? Good? Are you okay? Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. So welcome. Well, I have some something to share with you tonight. Give me a second. Because I need to open some web pages. In order to have further information. Well, um, yesterday we were talking about possessives. And also uh, we included, or we have been studying about the way to use uh, adjectives and, and all the stuff. Well, tonight we're going to continue talking good about... Evening. Hello, good evening. We're going to continue talking about present continuous, okay? And some information. Let me see. Thank you. Oh, let me see the chat. Good evening, Marcela. Okay, I got it. And Ligia. Okay, Ligia, I got your message. Well, it's a pleasure to see you in the class. You know, we're going to invest like 10 minutes talking about something new that you have learned lately. As we usually do, uh, I will ask you some people to provide uh, information about words, uh, pronunciation, sentences, phrases in English that you have acquired or that you have learned lately. Okay? Now, we're going to start by uh, asking to Catherine. Catherine Iliana, good evening. Catherine, are you there? Well, Shuana, Shuana Stephanie. Good evening. Uh, Learn to say. The Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Thank you. Thank you, Joanna. You took it from the Bible, right? I think you took it from the Bible. That was quite good. Thank you. New expression. Jonathan. Hello. Good evening. I'm sorry, teacher. I didn't know come over today. Por cuestiones de trabajo, no he podido hacer la tarea este día. Do it. Okay, we'll get back. Chrissy. Ya regreso, eh, Jonathan. Lo quiero, quiero que esté listo. Ok, Chrissy, go ahead. Uh, the word study is, is come back and to, tour, to return. For example, I return in my work. Uh, is meaning vuelvo a mi casa. To tour, return to a place is meaning volver a un lugar. I come back to house is meaning volveré a casa. Uh, another example, uh, baby, come back in my life. <laughs> it's meaning baby. <laughs> well, I baby. think it's a, it's a part of a lyric. Right? <laughs> baby, come back. Okay. Um, okay. Thank all. you. Thank that's you, all. Chrissy. Carolina. Aquí estoy. Uh, good evening. Uh, Bueno, lo voy a leer todo así. I really like these terms that say when you get upset, don't sin say what you want in your heart. 
being in your bed and shut up. It is the nice thing to learn how to say it in another language. These psalms. Psalms or psalms. Thank you, Carolina. Okay, so there, there are many words in your phrase. Uh huh. Okay, thanks for sharing that. Sara? Abigail? Good evening. Um, I learn words um, a lot. It significa mucho. Surprise, amanecer. Currenti, que es actualmente y lately, que es últimamente. Lately, también. Wait, 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 no sé, me cuesta. Wild? Wait, extraño o extraña. Ah, weird, weird. Weird. Okay. Thank you, Sara. That's it. Thank you. Karen? Karen, Lisset. Ayer no estuve en la clase porque me dio migraña, entonces estoy... No sé de qué se trata la tarea. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So, Roxana. Thank you, teacher. Uh, good night, every, everybody. Good evening. Uh, but uh, this night I have three idioms, teacher. Okay. Uh, first is um, in like father, like son. It's a de tal palo, tal astilla. Cat got your tongue. El gato te comió la lengua. And the last is uh, to be all ears, uh, ser todo oídos. Okay, I'm all ears. Um, eh, okay, thank you. Jorge, I'm all ears. We are all ears. Vamos a usar el idioma que nos trajo Roxanne, okay? We are all ears. Somos todo oídos. Jorge, we are all ears. Yo, el otro Jorge. Yeah, Jorge Jose, I'm sorry. Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, I learned today the difference in, in the word watch and watch. The first watch is the, the verb, and the other is the object. An example, uh, in the verb, let's watch a movie tonight. And the object, my new watch, is waterproof. Fantastic. Hey, uh, yesterday you, you provided like two examples, right? In which you use the same word as a verb as an, and as a noun. And you, I, I think that's a, a, that's a good idea, right? Congratulations, because you are learning a lot of vocabulary. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Jorge Ulises, we are all ears. Good evening. Good evening. De qué se trata la actividad? Voy entrando que no podía hasta ahorita. Okay, don't Pero... worry. Hey, listen. Remember that. Recuérdense. Siempre que entramos a una clase al inicio, la pregunta va a ser, hey, ¿qué aprendiste de nuevo este día en inglés? Puede ser una palabra, una frase, uh, un idiom, como lo hace Roxana. Jorge se dedica o pues últimamente ha buscado palabras que son usadas como verbos y como nombres. O sea, puede ser lo que ustedes deseen presentar, compartir, pero lo que interesa a fin de cuentas es que estén activos en inglés, que estén aprendiendo algo nuevo siempre. Ok, uh, you will have your time, Jorge Ulises. Juliana. Eh, teacher, yo el día de ayer no me pude conectar. Uh, you didn't know. Ok. Leonel. Good evening. Good evening. After work, went to eat with my friends. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. So after work, you 
have some food with your friends. Henry Escobar. Henry Escobar, are you there? Well, Marcela. Mindy. I don't know what happens with this. Maybe they have um, technical problems. We don't know. Well, we're gonna start then with the class. So if there, if if we have a volunteer who wanna share something, now is your time. Otherwise, we're gonna start with the class. Well, yesterday we were talking about positives. Okay, we define information about possessive adjective, possessive now, and possessive pronouns. Okay, and actually you have a homework. Tienen una tarea para mañana, ¿verdad? Recuérdense, es una historia en donde incluyan los posesivos. Esa es la tarea para mañana. Que nos cuenten una historia en donde se vean reflejados claramente los posesivos. Y... Ténganlo en un documento Word para que puedan compartirlo cuando eh, lo estén presentando, ¿ok? Now, we're going to talk about some vocabulary uh, uh, about weather and seasons around the world. Now, in El Salvador, we have only two seasons. Which are them? Um, yes, summer, summer and and, and winter. winter, winter, winter and summer, winter. summer and winter. What do you prefer, summertime or winter? Winter time. Winter time. Summer. <laughs> Why summer? Why winter? Um, um, summer in. Uh, I play. Yeah. Yeah. Summer and winter. For me, is, is uh, how do you say mejor, teacher? It's better. Ah, it's better. Thank now, you. It, okay, and there are some other countries like the United States in which people suffer from snowing. Okay, now we have rains, and you know, and during the winter and during the the summertime, the weather over here is really hot, right? So, but we're going to see this conversation. Listen, please, and try to uh, practice it because later you're going to read it. In, in my case, I prefer... Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll be... In my... Roxana, Roxana. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, teacher. No, go ahead, Roxana. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Uh, in my case, I prefer uh, the winter because uh, I don't like um, if to feel in my skin uh, wet. Okay. Uh, that way, I prefer uh, winter, no summer. I don't okay. like uh, summer because uh, my my skin is wet. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, yes, now let's see the information in this video and later we can like start talking about it. Here we go. Become familiar with the weather seasons and you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's start by listening and repeating. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now, let's listen to the conversation. It's very cold, which illustrates how the... It's very cold. It's snowing. It's... Now, in the video, as you can see, um, um, the different weathers and seasons are present in like spring, summer, fall, winter. 
in a sun butter, we only have summertime and winter time. But in there are some other uh, countries in which they have the opportunity to experience different different seasons like spring and fall. Now, what's what's going on during springtime? It's warm. Primavera. Yeah, it's warm and also it's very, very sunny. Okay, what about summer in Korea? In Korea, it's raining. Now you see, it's summer in Korea. It's raining, it's hot and humid. Korea, right? It's fall in the US. In the United States, it's cool. It's cloudy and windy. Okay, fall time in the United States. And in the last one, we have winter time in Russia. What, what happened? What happens in Russia? It snows. It's snowing, and it is very cold. Mm -hmm. So let us see what else is the guy presenting here. Very cold. Now let's um, listen to the conversation. Conversation. It's people. Very cold which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh no, what's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to practice repeating the conversation that we just heard. This conversation will make a lot of sense for our next topic. Okay, now you can see the information in the in a conversation. And let me see, because I need to get it. Well, you're okay, so what's the problem over here in the conversation? What's it what's the matter? The matter is the the girl is not a uh, gloves, not wearing gloves. Ah, uh, she she's not wearing gloves. As you can see, she's not she, wearing gloves. She's not wearing uh, gloves, right? But the guy is wearing gloves. She's not wearing gloves. Okay, and what what else? It is not a boot boot. It's very boot boot. Ah, she's not wearing boots. boots. What is she wearing? You can. What What is she wearing? ¿Qué está usando ella? What is she wearing? Shoes. 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 High heels. High heels. High heels. Right? High heels. Recuerden que acabamos de ver ese tema, el tema de la de la de la ropa, okay? So and Pat says, "Oh no, what's the matter?" It's knowing it, it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No. no you're at no. home. Well, you're wearing your coat, but my coat isn't warm. And I'm not wearing boots. Oh, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Okay. Well, I need two people only, two people, two volunteers, people who do not who haven't participated in a class yet. La, let me see. And... Lindaura and Marilyn. Ah, wait, wait a minute. There is a volunteer. Hay un voluntario por acá. Vi que alguien levantó la mano. ¿Quién fue? Ah, oh, thank you, Carolina. Okay, so Carolina, Carolina and somebody else? Carolina wants to participate. Yes. Carolina and Karen. Very good. Carolina and Karen, go ahead. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing 
And it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Julie. Okay, the, the conversation is very easy. Currently said, Oh no. Uh -huh. Currently said that, All right? And Mindy. I pack. Ah, okay. Um... Okay, go ahead. Oh no. What the matter? It's, it's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are home. Well, uh, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't, isn't warm and I am not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, July. Thanks, Yuli. Okay, Roxana. Roxana wants to participate. Thank you very much. Roxana and Maritza. Okay. I am Pat. Now, okay. Oh, no. What was the mother? What is mother? It's snowing. It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your clothes? No, they are at home. Were you wearing your coat? But my coat is warm and I am and I am not wearing boots. Okay, let's stay taxi. Thanks, Julie. Okay, sounds quite good. Now I can see that Magdalena wants to participate. And also Chrissy. Magdalena and Chrissy, go ahead. Oh no. What's the meter? It's snow and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Well, you're wearing your coat? But my coat is not warm. And I and am I not worried, but okay, let's a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Julie. Okay, very good. Now, let me see, Chrissy. Jennifer wants to participate. Jennifer, go ahead. Jennifer and Juliana. Oh, oh no. What's the matter? What's the matter? It's, it's warning and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat, 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 it's warm and I am not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thank you, Yuli. Thank you very much. Now I can see that you are like improving in pronunciation also. Well, since I have some extra info, okay, uh, let me see. Mm. Well, there's a topic that we need to study tonight. And that topic is about present continuous. Well, weather and seasons around the world, the first part, and present continuous statements is the next topic. So in the next topic, we're gonna learn, or we're going to uh, study about 
present continuous statement. So we're going to see the pattern and also we're going to read a couple of examples. And... Ya voy. Ay, preciosa. Okay, so we're going to start. Pay attention. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be plus the verb in its ing form plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So as our examples show, you're wearing shoes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and write that here. We have the subject, it's you, the verb to be, are, the verb plus ing, wearing, plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes. We're wearing shoes, they're wearing shoes. When forming negative statements, you will just add not after the verb to be. Let me give an example on the chart. They are not wearing shoes. They are not wearing shoes. If we made the contraction, that will be they're not wearing shoes. Finally, the conjunctions towards the right hand side and and but are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. That's given additional information. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. That's contrasting the information. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Talk about the activities that you your family, your friends, and co-workers are doing now. For example, I'm learning English. My wife is cooking dinner. My boss is working at his office. Give as many examples as you can and share them in our discussion forums. Okay, we're gonna work a little bit fast because we have some extra information over here about present continuous. Okay, there are some general rules that we need to learn. I will share this link so that you can have the information in the chat. Uh, Roxana, do you want to say something? Roxana Godoy? No. Oh, okay. Sorry, teacher, but um, 
I don't hear in the, your question. Ah, uh, uh, no, no, no. It's because I'm trying to to provide further information about present continued. That's why I included okay. I included this in this web page because it contains also information in Spanish in case you need to use it, right? So, but there are some grammatical rules that we need to be aware of. Uh, first off, we need to include a subject, then we need to use the verb to be, and then we need to use you know, a very naive form, like talk, talking, eat, eating, learn, learning, do, doing, go, going, okay? Verb in IMB. So, subject, verb to be, another verb in IMB. ING, sorry. So you say, he, she, is. After is, another verb in, in ing form. Talk, talking, eat, eating, learn, learning, do, doing, go, going. Going is the present participle. You, we, they, are. Talking, eating, learning, doing, going. What is the structure? Well, the structure goes like this. In affirmative sentences, we have Subject, auxiliary verb to be, the verb to be, and another very naive form. There are some examples. Listen and repeat. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm talking. talking. Subject, verb to be, very naive form. Second one. He's eating. He's eating. He's eating. He's eating. He's eating. He's eating. They're learning. They're learning. They're learning, right? And after that, if we want to make negative statements, the only thing we need to do is to add not to the sentence. Subject plus a verb to be plus auxiliary, the auxiliary negative, not in the very naive form. We have examples. I'm not talking. I'm not talking. I'm not talking. I'm not talking. 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 He's not eating. He's not eating. He's not eating. He's not eating. eating. Okay. There are some, some questions that you can ask also like, are you talking? Are you talking? Are you talking? Talking. Are you talking? Are you talking? Are you talking? Are you is he talking? eating? Is he 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 eating? Are they learning? Are they learning? Are they learning? Are they learning? Well, something else that we need to know is that there are different uses, usage uh, about this. So, mm. you know, um, Present continuous is used to talk about something that's happening at the moment of talking. I'm studying now. Now he is eating at the moment. It is raining. Okay. So uh, we can use them also to talk about something that's happening uh, in reality, but not necessarily at the moment of talking, right? So in order to clarify, you can use words such as currently, lately, these days. They are learning English. She's currently looking for a job. Are you working much lately? Okay. Yeah, so then we have that info. How do we say the very ing form? Well, in the, in the ing form, the, it all depends, right? So you say, I am studying, no. then you are ing form, right? ing form. Study, studying. Eat, eating. It's eating. Um, He's eating, it is raining. Well,
There are some rules that, well, I will look for some rules in order for you to use the ng forms correctly. Well, you have this web page. Um, you have a lot of verbs, okay? And we have a, another topic that we can use, uh, we can talk about later. So what are we gonna do now? Come on, say ahorita. Well, let me see, we're gonna post this part. So what are you gonna do? Well, you're going to tell us what your your family members are doing now. Si gustan, se pueden poner de pie allí donde están. Mira a ver qué es lo que está haciendo el esposo, la esposa, el hijo, la hija, eh, la mascota, etc. Yo les voy a dar que tres minutos, cinco minutos. Sí, cinco minutos. Karen. Got it? Any question? I got it. Ah, you got it. All right. So, cinco minutos en donde ustedes van a observar qué es lo que está sucediendo justamente ahora en su hogar. Cuando regresen, pueden decir por lo menos, mi bebé está comiendo sorbete. A ella le encanta el sorbete, especialmente el de fresa. Cuando vamos, bueno, ustedes incluyen un poquito más. Solo No me van a decir nada más a una frase, sino que como que van a ir tratando de atar algo más a su presentación, ¿ok? Vale. ¿Cuánto tiempo tenemos para eso? Dejemos que ocho minutos está bien. Ocho minutos, ¿ok? No, no, tampoco va a ser algo tan largo porque tienen la tarea de mañana de la historia. Ok, so eight minutes, ocho minutos. You can start now. Pueden comenzar ahora. Remember, you need to see what people are doing at home. Tienen que ir a ver qué es lo que está haciendo alguien allá, toda la familia en casa, ¿ok? La mascota, las, uh, el hermano, la hermana, ¿ok? And tell us about it. Okay, try to get the ideas, whole idea. Okay, let me know when you get ready, please. Cuando estén listos, me, me lo indican, por favor, para darles el espacio. I'm ready, teacher. Okay, thank you, Roxana. Go ahead. Okay. In this moment, I am in my job, and I'm my coworker. They uh, they are working. Um, um they join uh, their their job, and also, uh, they are a uh, very. They are very busy, busy, busy in, mm -hmm. in this moment. 
they are they are a good uh, uh, they are good co-worker excellent very good enjoying, enjoying their their job they're enjoying their time at, at work wow thank you yeah. thank yes. for sharing okay. Roxana let us listen to Magdalena Hola, teacher. Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, this baby is crying, crying in the waiting room of the hospital uh, consultation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what else? ¿Qué? Hola. ¿Qué más? Uh, solo esto, vi que estaba un bebé llorando en la sala de espera. Ah, ok. Estoy encerrada en un cuarto y medio vi por una ventanita ahí en la sala de espera. Oh, ok. Thank you very much. Is, that's it, Magdalena? Thank you. Ok, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for your participation. Jorge José. Okay, right now my father is watching a movie. He likes action and horror movies. I think it's his favorite hobby. Excellent, very good. Thanks for sharing. Chrissy. Um, in this moment, my mother is sleeping. She is sleeping because she is very tired. Uh, she is a kindergarten teacher <laughs> excellent thank you shawana this moment uh, my mom is cleaning the kitchen she is uh, like to keep every, everything steady and my niece is watching television okay thank you for sharing carolina and this moment, my husband is eating pupusas, and my two children are in their room watching movies, and my neighbors are in front of my house talking, and that's it. Okay, thank you for sharing. Fantastic. Jennifer? Uh, in this moment, my baby is watching TV in the bed, she likes to watch Miss Rachel shows. Um, my husband is checking uh, his cell phone in the bed. He likes to watch videos before sleeping. And our dog is sleeping right now. Ah, that dog is sleeping? My goodness. It's supposed to be like taking care of everybody there, right? <laughs> Okay, thank you, Jennifer. Thanks for sharing. Karen? Uh, in this moment, uh, my husband is uh, working, uh, but um, he is returned at home in the morning, tomorrow in the morning. Uh, my daughter is sleeping uh, because she, uh, she has uh, to get um, early. Tomorrow. And she has to get up early tomorrow? Okay. Yes, uh, to go to uh, school. To go to school. Thank you. That's fantastic. Thank you. Jessica Yesenia. Uh, well, we have... Good, good, good evening. Good evening. My daughter gave my, my medicines because my stomach hurts. My other dagger is watching television. My dog is sleep. Your dog is sleeping. My dog is sleeping. Oh, I'm sorry. He's sleeping. Okay. I'm so I'm sorry you're suffering from a stomach ache. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Okay, Juliana Cartagena. Um, 
In this moment, my baby is eating pupusas, but my two oldest daughters are eating pizza while they while they are on their cell phone watching cartoons. Uh, so they not inter interrupt me my class. They are not interrupting your class. Okay, and they are <laughs> they are very busy, right? Doing different things. Thank you, Julissa. Thanks for sharing. Jonathan Ulises. Hello, classmate. Uh, in the moment, my wife is working in her computer. My dog is sleeping on their bed. I am listening to the English, English class. Okay. Thank you. You are listening to the English class. Thank you, Jonathan, for sharing. Jorge Ulises. Good night. At this moment, I am in the living room. I don't want my children in my pet. My son is playing video games. My daughter is watching a Korean series. And my dog is sleeping next to them. Your dog is sleeping near, near next, to, uh, to, next them. to them. Uh, next to them. Next to them. Okay, so, well... Is there anybody else in the group uh, besides no one else? No more yep. volunteers? Okay, go ahead. Okay, in, in, this, ah, moment, my, uh, in this moment, my sister-in-law is watching a movie in the in her room. She loves movies, romantic, and comedy. That's it. We are yeah. alone. Uh, yeah, like comedies and, and romantic with like yeah. like the Titanic, yeah. right? <laughs> okay, very good. Somebody else? No one else? Well, we're gonna do something, people. I don't know if you have just finished with the activities in the platform. Eh, no sé si ya lograron terminar las actividades de la plataforma. Vamos a hacer algún ejercicio por acá y vamos a ir cerrando, ¿ok? No olviden, por favor, las tareas y no olviden trabajar en la plataforma, que también es, es sumamente importante que lo hagan. Okay, so person continues. Now we saw the info, we saw the video, we learned the, the structures, right? And now we know when to use it. We're going to try to solve the knowledge check about person continues. And then we're going to try to finish with the class. Well, it says, look at the pictures and input the correct answer in, in, the, in blank. Some sentences will have a negative connotation and some positive connotation. Follow the example. My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. I'm wearing high heels too. Or I am wearing high heels too. Now, I'm wearing a... Well, you have the same story or the same information in, in Spanish, right? We have the first one. I'm wearing high heels too. My name is Claire. I'm wearing a green suit today. What's missing here? I am wearing. I'm wearing. I'm wearing, I'm wearing wearing high heels too. High heels too. I'm wearing high heels too. In the second picture, or in the picture that's on here, it says, it's raining, but... I'm not wearing a raincoat. I'm wearing... I am wearing... Wearing... 
a raincoat. Now, it's hot today. Tulsi and Noriko are wearing shorts and t-shirts. It's very sunny, but they sunglasses. They are not wearing. They are not. They are not. They are not wearing. 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 Sunglasses. Fia is wearing a suit today. He wearing... He's wearing a brown shirt. He is wearing a brown shirt. But he a tie today. He isn't wearing a tie today. He isn't wearing. He isn't wearing. It's not. Worry. Isn't wearing, right? Isn't wearing a tie today. It's called today, but Katie isn't wearing a coat. She sweatshirt, gloves, and a hat. She's wearing. She's wearing. Wearing, right? Just wearing. Number four, boots. He isn't wearing boots. He isn't wearing. He isn't wearing boots. And the last one, sneakers. She, sneakers. She's wearing. Now she's wearing, right? She is wearing sneakers. Well, we're going to check. Mm -hmm. Is wearing or is wearing? I think you did it, right? All of them. Great people, that's fantastic. Any question about this exercise? No. No, no, no. right, it seems to be a little, it seems to be like simple, right? But simple, but important. Now people, what are you wearing now? I will ask, this is the last question for tonight. Uh, what are you wearing now? I am wearing a t-shirt. Okay. T-shirt black. A black t-shirt. Black t-shirt. Okay. I'm wearing a dress. Uh -huh. What color blue. is the dress? A blue dress. Blue dress. Okay. I'm, I'm wearing my uh, uniform to my job. This color is is light blue. Light blue, excellent. I think Karen wanted to participate. I uh, wearing is pajamas. Uh, you are wearing your pajamas, right? <laughs> excellent. Winnie Pooh pajamas. No, it's 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 tampad, it's tampad. Uh, Some stamp. The flowers. Ah, flowers. Uh, no, some pineapple. Pineapple. Pineapples. Okay. Pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, Jessica. Uh, we are a person. I am wearing. I am wearing a pyjama. Uh, estampada también. <laughs> Nada okay. más. Okay. Okay. Jorge José. I'm wearing a, t a red t-shirt and blue shirts. And blue shirts. Okay, thank you. And I saw somebody else who wanted to participate. Who was it? Vi que alguien levantó la mano. Who was that person? Okay, now I think we're going to stumble here. Nos vamos a quedar por acá. 
Recuérdense que mañana tienen eh, tarea que presentar, ¿ok? Una historia en donde va incluidos los posesivos. Y saben que los felicito por esa participación que, que tienen. Este grupo es muy activo eh, y este, eso les va a ayudar muchísimo. Mientras más practiquen y pierdan el miedo, mejor. ¿Ok? Porque algunos quizás se sienten como, quizás no lo voy a decir bien o quizás este, no estoy eh, eh, como organizando la, la oración de manera correcta, pero todos esos son miedos. Y saben que el miedo lo único que hace es detenernos. El miedo es algo que en, en inglés no debe suceder porque para eso estamos aprendiendo. Y si me equivoco no sucede nada. Lo único que va a suceder es que voy a aprender a cómo no hacerlo. A cómo no decirlo o, o a cómo no estructurarlo. Pero después de eso todo es ganar y ganar. Así que pues los felicito y espero verlos el día de mañana. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good night.